Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here I'm going to show you the Relyon Premier Blue Meter. This I purchased at a Walmart. It's about $19. Included in the box you get the meter, you get a carrying case, and you get quick start guide, logbook, as well as the user manual. It does not come with the test strips. You have to buy those separately. Those run about 18 cents a piece. They come in 25, 50, or 100 count. That's what they look like in the box there. It also does not include the Lancet device. That is something you'll have to purchase separately. You don't have to use the Rely on Lancet device. If you have any Lancet device, that will work. And of course, here is the meter. I'll show you a quick, we'll just uh, show you a quick um, testing the blood sugar with that, and then we'll go on to some other functions of the meter. So of course get a test strip, seal your bottle back up. The test strips are nice, it shows where you insert it in the meter, just as the test strip indicates. Right there, it's prompting us for blood. You can see the test strip there. You touch the very bottom of the test strip to the blood, but that little square window should turn red. That helps indicate that you've got a proper amount of blood on that test strip. So you can go ahead and poke your finger. Of course you want to wash your hands first. Some references recommend that you wipe away the first drop of blood and then gently massage your fingers to get another drop of blood. That's not specifically indicated in the Walmart manual, but if you're getting irregular readings you may want to try that as there could be things on the skin. Affecting, affecting your reading. All right, so we have a drop of blood there. And we want to put that strip at a 90 degree angle to that drop of blood. And as you can see there, that little window turned red. And then our readings right there, 96. Now at this point, we can code that reading. We could put a full apple for before eating half apple for after eating. The That symbol means fasting and then the last symbol is a control strip. So those are some options. It gives those uh, readings a little more meaning um, when you go back to look at your history. It just helps. It can help you and your doctor determine where your blood sugar um, could use some help. So we'll just leave it on before a meal and you can remove the strip. Now if you notice, I've got the Bluetooth on, so the Bluetooth symbol starts flashing. At that point, you can sync it with your smartphone if you're using the Rely On app. That's not required, that's simply an additional function. So we'll turn that off. Now if you turn it on, you can go through your historic readings. Um, you could also go through some of your averages. It'll show all the, the different readings that you've taken recently and how you coded them. And then another option that's important when you're using this meter is setting the time. You want to hold the power button down until it's saying set. At this point it's prompting no and we will want to push the arrow button now it says yes. Yes, we want to set that meter up. Uh, the first one would be for Bluetooth. You can turn it off, on, or you can do your initial pairing with the app. You can pair the device with the app. Um, at this point, we'll just leave it off and go on to the next. Right there is your year. You can choose the year. Next is the date. Oh, I picked. <laughs> Pick the year, then press the center button to set that. Then you go on to the month. If that's the month you want, you can use the arrows to adjust or the center button. Then we go to the date. Then the hour, if you prefer the 12 hour format or 24 hour format, this is your point where you can choose that. Then you can go ahead and we go on to the time, the hour. Select the one that you want, then the minutes. And beep, if you like it, making the beeping noise, you can select that. Uh, this function is if you want it to prompt you when the test strips you're using are expired. 
this is a hypoglycemia alarm that you can set. And then we're back to the Bluetooth. So you can hold that off. And that turns off again. So really, um, I've been I've just tried this for a couple days. This is kind of a nice meter. Uh, pretty simple to use. There are a lot of functions. Just remember that's the those use the Premier test strips as opposed Walmart makes other test strips. There's the Prime. The bottle looks somewhat similar, but the Prime is used in the in their I believe it's their older meter. Whereas the Premier is used in the newer one, those are not interchangeable, so just keep that in mind. And again, the app is kind of neat and nice. I've just started experimenting with that as well. Again, that's an additional function, not something required. You can just put a strip in this and go. Um, just additional features if you decide you want to use those. Any questions, go ahead and ask those in the comments. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the meter. I'll do the best of my ability to answer that for you. Appreciate you watching this video. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.